Hello guys, good afternoon. Hello everyone. How are you, Mohammed? Bonjour. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we'll just wait a couple of minutes before starting. Just uh, let people uh, join us. Uh, no, it's not Alliance Française. Uh, I'm at the French Embassy actually, in my office, alone because, uh, well, no, not a lot of people work here for now due to the COVID-19 uh, crisis. So I'm at the French Embassy, alone. And, but uh, we work at, uh, with the Alliance Française all the time, of course. For, for the French and linguistic policy, of course. Hello, everyone. Please make you comfortable. So I'm Maxime. I work at the French Embassy. I'm the Campus France officer, so I'm in charge of the promotion of the studies in France. So we started uh, one month ago, uh, more than one month ago, uh, this uh, webinar series about studies in France. So we, uh, we spoke about uh, management studies, law studies, uh, learning French in France, etc. Et so I invite you to check uh, our YouTube channel to find the replay. So today we'll talk about uh, something um, I find very interesting myself uh, because I studied uh, it in, uh, uh, in master degree. It's uh, about communication and um, more about uh, journalism, uh, public relations, um, all these matters which uh, are very important in our world uh, nowadays. And we will have one guest uh, who will uh, join you in a couple of minutes. It will be, uh, she will be, uh, she is, sorry, uh, Fatima Al Najem. She works as a Bahrain National uh, uh, News Bahrain News Agency, sorry, and um, she will uh, she will explain uh, a curriculum. What 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 did she uh, study? What does she do uh, right now at the B at the BNA? And um, and we'll talk in general about uh, all uh, the jobs uh, re related to uh, and studies related to communication. So language from linguistic to uh, public relations and how can I, uh, if I'm interested to this field, how can I study in this field in France and uh, what kind of topics can I choose. So uh, just to give you an overview, uh, journalism, uh, we are a specific school of uh, journalism in France. You can either study any bachelor and then join in master degree the school so you can study law, economics, uh, uh, even uh, linguistic, French, uh, French literature, for example. Uh, you can do that and then join a later on uh, journalist school. Then for communication studies, it's the same. You can start um, since the first year, do full 100% communication, or you can reach it, uh, join it uh, during your master degree. And uh, that's uh, what I did. I did public communication and political communication, for example. So I joined it uh, in master degree. And uh, I did a 12 month uh, a master degree with internship uh, in a communication agency, doing some public relations, uh, um, uh, digital, digital communication, uh, audits, uh, so this kind of uh, uh, important things uh, you need to do when uh, you work either in the public field or in the private field uh, with a company or uh, an association when you need to put uh, influence uh, decision uh, makers for example. So I will invite uh, now Fatima. So we works in the public uh, field so she will, uh, she will express uh, what what did she study and uh, and then I will take you questions. So uh, I see few questions right now. So 
we'll, uh, we'll come back to this uh, later on. Hello, good afternoon, Fatima. Bonjour. Bonsoir, Max. Comment, Comment ça, ça va? va ça va, alhamdulillah, c'est bien. Bonsoir, Tout va bien bien. ici. Ok, parfait. Bon, uh, th thank you very much to uh, join us today, Fatima. It's, uh, Pardon? I ask. Thank you very much for being with us today. Oh, it's for... actually an honor, and I'm glad to be with the French Embassy today. And uh, I wish that I can answer all the questions that's going to be posted in this live. Uh, and yeah, so uh, do you want okay, to talk about so that? Yeah. I will, I, will, I will make the questions, you will make the answers. Are you, do you agree? Oh. No. <laughs> Excuse me, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, please, Fatima, um, introduce yourself. So you did study in France. You did study also at... Uh, Uh, Sorbonne Université Abu Dhabi, so you, you will talk uh, about that, and then we'll talk about your professional uh, career. So I will uh, let you introduce yourself and what did you do in France and in La Sorbonne. D'accord. Uh, first of all, um, my name is Fatima Najm, as everyone knew uh, through the post that uh, been distributed in the social media. I am 25 years old. Uh, for uh, for l'instant, uh, I work in uh, Bahrain News Agency as a translator and news editor and a journalist, reporter. Uh, I work as well as a reporter for Bahrain TV and an MC, a freelancer MC. I work as a um, private French uh, teacher. So it's like a full package of what I have studied in France and in Abu Dhabi, surtout. So uh, um, my major is um, French modern language. French literature publishing and media mm -hmm. audiovisual. And uh, I did my two years of French language in um, Rouen, French and Normandy school. And um, then I got my Delft B2. And then I moved to the university, Sorbonne University. Uh, hopefully, everyone knows here who, what, what is Sorbonne. And um, like I'm the, Bahraini, the first Bahraini graduate of this major, and I'm so proud of it. Thank you for this uh, quick presentation. So uh, you said two years in Rouen, which is a very tiny town. No, it's medium, a medium sized town in, a, in the northwest of France, if yes. I'm correct, right? Yes, north, yes. So, so how was, how was uh, Rouen? And My experience of Rouen? Yes, as a Bahraini, okay. as, as a girl there. Yeah, okay. Uh, first of all, um, when I moved to Rouen, I was 17 years old and uh, I faced some like difficulties and like opening a bank account or like getting um, a mobile number or so on because like in France, like the policy of these things, like, we have to be like above 18. So uh, these, th these like two obstacles, the main two obstacles that I faced when I first reached in France, but uh, Uh, like talking about the school itself, talking about the studying itself, French language is not easy. It's not easy. You have to put so much effort. You have to put so much, like you have to be enth enthusiast all the time. You have to be cour cour courageous tout le temps. And, right. Uh, yes. yes, exactly. Excuse me, I'm going to switch to French, English, French, English, yeah. English, French. Okay. Don't, don't. Tu es la seule qui me Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, uh, we started like uh, I started having uh, ha about like five hours per day, um, uh, each every, each and every day, like except weekends. And uh, the the good thing about studying in France, the French language in France, is that you are uh, comment dit, obliged to speak the French language with people to communicate with people. For example, when you for example when you go to grocery shopping or like you go for um, uh, for a restaurant or so on, like uh, I guarantee that you will not, especially in Rouen, even if the people like like they are more known English than other other cities in France, they will not talk to you in English, even if they understand you. Which, which yes, is exactly. a, which, which, which is a good which, thing. Yeah. Which is a good thing that made us all, the Bahraini students in Rouen, learn how to speak in French. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Um, for those who want to speak French, 
is a as a hobby like speaking French currently uh, in on the daily life with friends etc or for uh, studies purpose uh, yes, you can exactly. go to France and uh, do a short is a short or long program like you did and to be able to uh, study in bachelor's then so you choose to go to uh, uh, Sorbonne Université Abu Dhabi which is ouais. uh, very known in the region because Sorbonne is uh, uh, la Sorbonne Université is a very huge university and renowned university in France and yes. since uh, 2009 I think they settled in Abu Dhabi a university which offers the same degrees than in France so same degrees, uh, same subjects, same majors, same professor, in, all of it so like, in French exactly language taught in French yes. exactly so they have also a linguistic center uh, yes exactly in, in, in Abu Dhabi and you can learn French there and then follow the same uh, degrees than uh, in Paris. So can you tell uh, us more about your, deg your bachelor degree? So it's a three years degree as just like all the bachelors in France. In France, are three exactly. years. So mm -hmm. tell, tell us more about that. Okay, so um, I did my three years in Sorbonne Abu Dhabi. Uh, I was in like, the humanity department and the um, department of uh, my major was, as I told you, French literature, uh, French literature, um, publishing and media audiovisual. Uh, the French system, uh, first of all, let's talk about the languages themselves. The French system insists that um, a student should learn more than two or three languages. So uh, as Arabic is my native language and I already know English and like I'm already studying French I have to learn a fourth language and this this implemented by the uh, French system so uh, like uh, uh, I learned Italian throughout my three years journey in Sorbonne University and I consider this as an advantage for the university um, it helps a lot uh, like it's it's yeah I mean the languages itself it's like just like build um, personalities and let's talk about the major um, uh, for the French literature uh, you gotta have four minors okay like the major is French literature and then you have four minors uh, history history of art sociology and philosophy and the students have uh, like the right to choose whatever like if, if you want to have all your minors in one subject like all your minors in sociology you got you, you can make it or you all your minors in history you can make it but for me personally i chose to have like from each major uh, something a background so i have my minors are history history of art sociology and philosophy and i really enjoyed doing all of them uh, actually uh, for the french culture all of them are related french literature is just like as a part of the history of art just like as a part of sociology and philosophy. Yes, you, you highlight a very good point, which is uh, in bachelor in France, it's very generalist. So you, you have a wide, wider choice and you have to uh, widen uh, and strengthen your global culture before getting exactly. specialized in possibly in master degree. So indeed you have the choice of uh, uh, minors, like you call them. You don't, we don't use really this word in French, but uh, indeed, you can pick uh, different subjects, different matters. Yep. It can be very interesting for you. So uh, that's what you did. So uh, you said uh, your, your specialty was uh, linked, related as well uh, to uh, media. Can you tell Literature, us more about that? Literature, linguistics and media. Yes, communication. Yes. yes. Can you tell us more about that? Because you, you are now like in the field of media. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, actually, media since the beginning was a passion for me. It wasn't like just a major in the university. So what happened is um, that um, right uh, after uh, finishing my bachelor degree, I insisted that I gonna work in the media sector. I will not like even if I'm gonna spend like uh, uh, like months staying at home without working. I will not like lower my standards. I, I have to work in media. So what happened is that um, out of a sudden I got an accept, acceptance from the um, approval, sorry, from Bahrain News Agency in Bahrain, 
um, Information Affairs Ministry. So uh, I did my interview, and fortunately, um, like the the my boss who gonna like I'm gonna work with the one who made the interview with me, he was a Hongkafan. He was. French speaker yeah. so I was so like you know I was this, this was so comfortable that you can speak in all he's a French speaker English and of course uh, Arabic so it was really comfortable uh, to stay with a person who just looked like you exactly yeah, and sure. uh, yeah so since then I started my um, journey in communication and uh, like I think I think personally I see myself uh, that I'm a media person, I'm a really um, outgoing and like social person. So I can get like we can meet me and media we can click together. So this is what happens yes, in and, life. And I wanted to um, I, I did a hybrid um, topic today, uh, mixing uh, journalism, linguistic and uh, and public relations uh, matters because I think they are all, all related to uh, to each other. Yes. And, exactly. uh, yeah. and yeah. studying language like you did, studying uh, uh, literature and media uh, gave you this background which enabled you to, uh, to be hired uh, in, the, in the BNA which is uh, a very good opportunity because you are, I think you are in charge exactly. of the uh, French uh, language matters inside the um, BNA. Yeah, yeah, for now, kind but of. like hopefully it's gonna, the, the, the French um, the French section and the agency hopefully is gonna come like very soon because it already was there, but like uh, like uh, due to like the the lack of French speakers in Bahrain, they 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 removed it. So hopefully they got they are they're gonna come bringing it back. And like yeah, talking about journalism, communication, and so on, French literature itself. I think French literature specifically. Let's talk about French literature. Uh, as I said, and as I always say, it's like it teaches how to build a personality. First of all, so a media person or a journalist can't go out there without a personality. You have to insist, or like you have to um, to prove yourself in the field. Like going for reporting, coming back without any single like uh, statement or something. This is not a good thing. So. French literature helps to build the to build the personality. Second of all, uh, I learned lots of subject about communication and uh, le langage cinématographique, uh, the, the cinema the cinematographic language the language. How like how do we um, how to say how do we like uh, film movies? How to direct movies? How to produce movies and so on? And uh, we have like a major uh, in Sorbonne University. We have a uh, very uh, major subjects for all uh, humanities department, which which called communication. Communication can be journalist journalism. Communication can be this. What I told you about, like uh, the uh, cinematographic language. Uh, it can be um, how to uh, the, the like the appearance of a host and so on. So uh, the subjects and the university helped me a lot helped me a lot in uh, my career, but I think uh, there is a self, um, uh, like, um, self-determination that I'm gonna, I, I wanna become something. So I'm gonna push myself to the limit to become something. Yeah, of course. But uh, this gave you uh, the background to be able to do that as well, and uh, exactly, it's, uh, it's very yeah. good that you, you you talk about it. Uh, just we'll stop just one second to see if uh, we have any questions. Uh, uh, if you have questions, guys, uh, please let us know. Either Fatima or me uh, will uh, will answer to you. Uh, so, Hi, not Hassan. Questions. Bonjour. Hi, Shamma. Okay, guys, if you have questions, let us know. Uh, we'll keep going. Oh, so, just, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I would say that uh, this language uh, added you some uh, value to your uh, curriculum, let's say, mm -hmm. curriculum mm -hmm. return. And, um, oh, we have a question. So, I will stop and I will let you answer yeah. to, to that. To yeah. That one. So, Ala, hi, Ala. Uh, how long did I had it? Did it take you to learn French? Um, two years, two years, not less than two years. For one year, you're gonna understand 
uh, write, read, but you will not be able to speak. And like uh, speaking is gonna take like a bit uh, by practicing and so on. So I'm gonna say two years. So I, I will, I will add something. So yeah. uh, two years, it can be two years to be more comfortable, like to, like told yes. Fatima. But if you have exactly. some basis uh, from um, a previous uh, like courses at high school or uh, like. Um, a session at the Alliance Française, for example, you can improve uh, uh, yourself very quickly when you arrive in France. If you have no basis when you go to France, it's, it will take more time, indeed. But if you get w even one course to, be, uh, to get ready before going to France to do an intensive session, uh, it will help you a lot. And some of uh, it depends on the students, of course. But we estimate to reach the B2 level, which is required to study in France, you need to, uh, to get between six and nine months intensive programs. But then you know, your B2 is still weak, but you reach this level. So you can still yeah, yeah, improve yeah. yourself before getting in the university. And then yes. you will be more comfortable. For yes. matters like law, it's harder. Of course, because it's, uh, it requires more um, writing skills, uh, very technical terms, etc. So you, you need to have a strong B2. But, uh, and even C1 for, for, for some universities, the best ones. Yeah, but uh, just, Max, just let me add one thing. B2 level, yes. like, um, it doesn't like, uh, force you to be a good French speaker, to be honest. I know lots of people from a personal experience who have, like, already they do level in French and they don't know how to speak like how to say a single like like a sentence so uh, I'm just like uh, I want to reassure that everyone knows that speaking French uh, you have to be brave enough to say even a wrong sentence to be corrected by French people yeah, in, a, in any language, it was the same for me uh, at the end of high school with English. I was terrible. So I've been to yeah. England and it was a uh, very, uh, very, very hard experience, but very yeah. beautiful experience. How is as it well with Arabic be... right now? Yes. My Arabic, yeah. Uh, my Arabic, <laughs> uh, my Arabic uh, yeah, for example, that, that's a good example. Arabic here in Bahrain, yeah. you don't practice a lot. So it's, yeah. it's hard to approve. Malheureusement. Uh, Malheureusement. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Anyway, yeah. Uh, just to say, uh, being in France will help you to uh, jump in the swimming pool of French language and be okay. able to swim yeah. quickly exactly. than if you uh, were in Bahrain, for example. So where, from where shall I from start? From where shall I start French? to learn French? Yeah. Uh, you can start here in Bahrain with the Alliance Française. Uh, you can also... Um, Go to France for an intensive program, for uh, according uh, up to you, for quick uh, short stay until uh, long stay. You can stay uh, yeah. there nine months and be uh, become kind of bilingual, or you and can stay I like. And I advise you, oh, and I advise sorry. you to to go live with a family, a hosting family. This That's is a life. very good experience. I wasn't able to do it. Uh, because like uh, I have a phobia from animals first of all I am a hijabi second of all and third of all like uh, I didn't feel I didn't feel like comfortable living with someone else especially like this is the first time that I travel alone so but like for people who are like braver than me they can do this experience and it's really helpful I have seen so many people that like they were less than me less like in, in uh, like level uh, in French and out of a sudden, they became like a very advanced level because of living with the French family. Yeah, and what I have to say is, uh, we are in touch in France with the Cavillam de Vichy, <laughs> and they uh, they welcomed a lot of uh, hijabi girls, for example. Uh, yes. They, are, uh, they have a lot of Bahrainis coming there, going there. So they are used to uh, deal with cultural differences, and then are flexible as an. Uh, uh, and if even if you are a girl and you were hijab, it's not it's not an issue at all. And um, exactly, they will yeah. be very smooth about that. And hijab in France is authorized. So 
no issue on that. A lot of, uh, we have like 6 million of uh, Muslim in France. So it's not a, a deal at all to wear a jab, for example. Uh, so we have a question um, in, uh, of Allah, very long, so uh, I will summarize it. Um, programs like... Uh, so the, I think the, program, the problems that uh, Fatima uh, faced was about her age, actually, because she was under 18. And it was about uh, getting a bank account. That's it. That's right, Fatima? Yeah. Yeah. So it was uh, because of the age, because you need, you know, the parental uh, uh, authorization, etc. So exactly. it's, uh, it's well, harder it's... when you are under 18. Uh, just but it's paperwork. It's the same for uh, French guys. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But uh, Max, thank you. Uh, Allah is already above eighteen. Like she's above twenty. Okay, so oh, she's so twenty-five. No so yeah, twenty-five. Okay, perfect. So no yes, issue with that at all. Uh, yes, so exactly. Can, uh, we have many she can programs. Register. Yeah, for ex for me, for example, I'm gonna just advise you to go to a French and Normandy school. You can like register there, or like you can go to Vichy Cavillam uh, uh, Institute. They teach uh, French as well, uh, and like at um, let's say um, Caen, the Quatre. Yeah, Caen but also, we are like 150 uh, linguistic centers in France, so it's huge, and we welcome like 800,000 uh, students in French every year uh, wow. who prepares in general who prepares um, uh, the acceptance uh, to go to university after after that so um, we have a lot of programs so please contact us uh, uh, via direct message for example on instagram i will uh, i will yeah. reply to you and give you advices uh, if you have any questions uh, of this order please uh, let me know i i'm here to do that it's my job so I will accompany you uh, either to choose your, the, the, the program which fits you or uh, even for the visa procedure, etc. I'm here uh, for you. Uh, um, okay. Max, one yes, more sir. thing. Um, I'm going to say yes. that uh, uh, for everyone who's going to continue um, their higher education in France, it's all it's say it's always um, an opportunity to go to France to do your higher studies and um, what I love in the French system is that for the master degrees and the, for the PhD degrees you can do them in English it's not necessary to get them in French so you're gonna like uh, if you don't want to learn the language itself but learning the French language like I'm telling about the advantages of talking and learning the French language especially in Bahrain it always make you it's like it's gonna you gotta be framed for people they always gotta see you that you are the unique one they're gonna choose you over everyone because like you have background of so many like cultures as I said learning a new language is learning a new culture so um, yes everyone had the opportunity to go to learn in France even if you don't want to learn the language because it's hard yeah, and usually, even if you live uh, two years for a master degree in France, you will uh, pick the language very quickly as well, because you will interact with uh, uh, French uh, students, uh, French people in your daily life. Uh, yes. What is interesting about you as well is uh, you, since you were speaking uh, English and Arabic before going to France and studying in, uh, in France and then uh, Sorbonne University, uh, you picked uh, Italian. So it gave you yes. your fourth language, uh, yes. so, which is an asset as well. And all the universities exactly. in France are very large with all the programs uh, you, want, you could do. So you have many languages to pick. And yes. it's mandatory uh, today, either if you study management and, um, or law, you have to pick one language beside English to be uh, able to speak and to uh, work in an inter international environment. Uh, and that's, I want to say, because sometimes people uh, think France is uh, it's too tight uh, uh, in terms of no. professional perspective and uh, in terms of uh, employability after, after uh, studies. So I want to say that, uh, no, we are, international as well and a lot of master exactly you know what max 
Yes. Like Sorbonne University, after, after graduation, they offered us the European license. That means that I can work in any European country uh, as if, like, I'm, like, because I'm graduating from one, one yes. of their establishments. Indeed, and um, since you mentioned that, I will, uh, I will go in detail uh, with, with, about that. So it's um, a common framework uh, among all the European countries. So when you got a degree in France, uh, even one semester, you can do a second semester in any other country in Europe. And that's a common system which is automatically recognized inside the European Union and worldwide the majority of the country recognize French degrees because we have this high quality. And, um, and it's very international as well. When you do, uh, for example, if you want to uh, study, I don't know, uh, communication, you do a, a bachelor in communication in France. Uh, you, you have the possibility, just like a French student, to go abroad, abroad to go studying in another country for one year or for one semester. It's Comment on appelle ça, Max? Sorry? Comment on appelle ça? Erasmus. Oui, Erasmus. Erasmus. And, uh, and you got a scholarship. Even as an international student, you can get as a scholarship to go abroad and study. Uh, for example, me, I was uh, in University of Poitiers, very small university, not small, like 20,000 students. But for France, it's small, and um, yeah. <laughs> I, could go, I could go to Cambridge, for example. We had uh, oh, wow. four positions per year in the law school to go to Cambridge, mm. and um, and go to Cambridge, paying the tuition fees in France, so paying uh, uh, four hundred euros in France instead which of which is nothing. Yeah, which is nothing, and yes, that's exactly. another point. It's cheap to study in France. Exactly. And you don't have to pay for yes. studying, but you can you, you will have like even discounts for living there for the residents, for the electricity and for taxes, yes. even taxes there like it's less for students. Exactly. So many assets to do that and um, and you can become like Fatima, a shiny uh, person and a reporter at the Baron News Agency. So how do you see the future of Fatima? A future. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I actually want to spread more the French language in the community. Community. I would like to see more people speaking French, and like, um, like, let me say, uh, throughout uh, media hosting, like media, like French events and so on, and uh, it makes me really happy when I see a person, like when I cross a person and he asks me to teach him a, a word, a single word in French. So I really love this. And um, like, uh, I invite everyone to try this great experience. Even if you like, if you don't want to go and study there or you are not able to go study abroad, you can uh, try French classes via uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many and so many uh, teachers like guy and girls who can like provide giving you like a French uh, basic classes uh, from like ABC to one, two, three, yes. to verbs and so on. So it's really helpful. And uh, always like um, I can say like uh, Alliance Française, uh, they, they have like uh, the French cafe. They have very so much events. They have uh, cinema night. They have uh, theater night. They have like uh, concerts and so on. So you can always participate in these things, and um, and you ha you will have the opportunity to to speak French to to have someone to speak French with actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so I wanted to do this speech, but you did it uh, instead of me. So thank you, Fatima. Uh, yes, we have uh, with, oh, the, with the Alliance Française. <laughs> Merci. With the Alliance Française, we organize a lot of events. Uh, indeed, like uh, like Fatima said, uh, cinema, movies, night. Um, and we have uh, cultural events. We we'll have uh, concerts, uh, French concerts. We are working right now on the future projects because of the current situation. We had to postpone everything, so yes. we'll have uh, probably a very uh, dense and intense uh, uh, last uh, trimester, last uh, semester. Uh, starting in uh, September, October, I guess, 
will have a lot of actions. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, carry out. Them. Hopefully Corona gonna get yeah. out of here. Hopefully. Yeah, we we hope so. We hope so. Right. And um, and we'll uh, we'll we are we have also uh, alumni al alumni network. Sorry, uh, we launched uh, last year, but we couldn't uh, do a lot of actions uh, due to the situation. But uh, I'm planning to organize uh, um, actions between French speakers to be able to interact also because sometimes as a French speaker here in Bahrain you miss uh, some places to practice so we'll organize more events uh -huh. and very yes. uh, smooth events uh, free ones uh, where you can speak come and speak French even if you are a beginner uh, the important thing is to yes. hear the language to uh, try to express exactly. yourself to jump into the French language without any barrier and uh, it will be this kind of events uh, we have in mind. So uh, keep following us. Uh, if you have questions about everything, let us know. Uh, let know also Fatima. I think uh, she uh, she's very uh, uh, very confident Helpful. and uh, able <laughs> able to uh, to to reply to your questions as well. And uh, we'll uh, Max, don't have, forget uh, to mention that group. we are not a small group of francophones in Bahrain. We are not a small group of uh, French alumni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Establishment. Uh, we yeah. have many, many alumni, and uh, I was yes. impressed. And different majors. Uh, yeah, and uh, last year we launched uh, the alumni network, so we organized a, a big, uh, uh, a big party. No, not party, but uh, uh, reception, let's say, at the yes. at the French residence, and we are like uh, around more than one hundred uh, people. But I, I contacted everyone. We have more than 400 uh, in total uh, here in wow. Bahrain, and <laughs> with, uh, yeah, we, with a lot of majors. Uh, wow. Some are engineers, some uh, are prof uh, teachers, uh, doctors, some, uh, yeah, designers, yeah. artists. Yes, artists a lot, a lot. Of yes, artists. We... from the old generation mostly, but uh, they are yeah. existing with a very good French. Language sometimes it's very impressive to uh, to hear, and even you, Fatima, your French is uh, is uh, mashallah perfect. Oh, thank you, ça me fait plaisir. So, <laughs> I I no, love no, really. this from you. I swear, it's my best comment. No, no, it's a very good French, and we have to say that. And uh, and uh, it's due also to your two years of uh, language in uh, in French in Normandy, I guess. Uh, yes. You took your time, but it was uh, worth yep. it. Worth it, let's say. Yes, uh, I took my time. Yes. Yes, and but sometimes we have to, because also it's uh, it's good. To, it's uh, worth it. At the end, it's yeah, worth yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I think. Do you have any last word? Maybe I, maybe some questions. Actually, there is. Um, oh, we have a question. Okay, why France and not Germany? Um, Again. First of all, first of all, uh, French language is spoken in so many countries other than France more than the German language. This is this is first of all. Second of all, uh, for me, for my the major I chose uh, French literature. Of course, like people are talking around the world about French literature and, and not the German literature. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> so uh, the French culture is so rich. Uh, knowing French literature is knowing arts, knowing history, knowing um, philosophy, and knowing so many other things. Even like uh, like uh, uh, administration, how to control things, how to see like things about, uh, from a different point of view. So uh, France is a very beautiful country. I enjoy staying there, and I really must miss Paris and Rouen. I really want to go now, but like unfortunately, uh, and. Um, Yes, um, German studies are like most likely for um, for comment dit comment dit médecine en anglais. Mais quoi? Uh, like uh, ah, I don't know. <laughs> How do we say médecine en France en anglais? Médecine, médecine. Uh, medicine school. Do we say do we say yeah. this? Comment on dit ça? Yeah, médecine. Yeah. Uh, we, so like doctors, like most of doctors go to uh, Germany to complete their fellowship, and this is like what I see the, sp the specialty of yeah. studying in, uh, in Germany. Yeah, and li like you mentioned, um, 
the French speaker communi community is uh, f it's, uh, 300 million people all around the world, like more than 50 countries we speak French. So that's what? one thing. Well, I love German and uh, I took German at school and I speak German also. But uh, yeah, it's not as uh, widely spoken as French. And French is also, if you are into international relations and if you're looking for job um, uh, in uh, in companies or governmental uh, non-governmental institutions, it's uh, more spoken. And, you and can, let's say, uh, Max, uh, in Bahrain, especially that I'm Bahraini, uh, in Bahrain we can see a lot of uh, French Bahraini cooperation and coordination in every sector, especially like we have here a uh, lycée français, a French school. We have lots of businesses uh, like uh, uh, banks and lots of um, industrial yes. companies, French companies in well, Bahrain. And more, um, more than 50 yeah, companies hi, in Bahrain. Di hi, di hi, di salut à l'OA. Hello, bonjour l'OA. J'espère que ça va bien. <laughs> uh, yes, we have more than uh, 50 companies, French companies based in Bahrain, so that's important with huge names like BNP Paribas, which has uh, exactly. is, its uh, headquarter, regional headquarter for Middle East and Africa, so it's a huge investment and a lot of Bahrainis uh, uh, work there. So, um, yes, friends. French, let's say, okay, I will be mean maybe for my, my German friends, but uh, <laughs> pick, pick French. It's a good choice. And uh, Je French is the Je official soi. language, yeah, official language of, uh, of the UN, of uh, um, many other uh, international organizations, um, European Union, of course, etc., etc. So that's uh, very good language and for business also the second language of business after english so that's a good asset and like fatima said if you are in your job interview and if your um, employer future employer wants to uh, uh, do the selection between two people if you have one additional and useful language like french they will pick you. Exactly. They will choose. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Max, there is one, there's Hassan who's saying, I'm going to translate okay. this, who's saying that he sees, um, he expects like a bright future for China. So uh, Chinese, he is like uh, advising people to go and learn Chinese because the future is there. Well, Hassan, uh, I will not downgrade the Chinese language. Uh, it is it is indeed a, one of the most important language and like it is spoken but think about it it's only spoken in China okay dear okay Hassan <laughs> okay that's very personal <laughs> see, from Fatima see uh, see how would, much say, see how much I'm loyal to French and France yeah no, no, but uh, I would say you can learn Chinese in France as well like uh, <laughs> it's an option when you are at university we have the uh, Chinese department everywhere so. And we have a large uh, Chinese uh, uh, community as well. So please uh, come in France, learn Chinese if you want. It's a possibility. And it's very international. So uh, you can have a lot of different um, uh, international students in France. In all the towns, all around France, you have international students. They represent around 20% uh, uh, of the students uh, studying in France. So it's very important. Um, so, yes, big friends. Um, yeah, Just Max, friends. there is one question. Les frais de scolarité sont-ils chers en France? Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, it's so your, it's, for, it's Paris, for, for the fees, tuition fees for public university, like 80% of the students uh, of the Gulf go into public universities. Um, it's uh, 1,200 BD per year uh, in bachelor and 1,700 BD per year in master degree. So it's very cheap. It's subsidized by the French state. And when you are a student in France, you are entitled, um, uh, you are entitled to uh, get some subsidies for your uh, rent, uh, many discounts on transportation, food. Uh, you have a uh, uh, university Panama restaurant theaters. with yeah, uh, on cinema, theater, museums are free, for example. So you have access to the culture. Yes. So you can discover a new world totally and for nothing. It's 
very cheap or free. So, and you have free healthcare as well. So you can, uh, no worries yes, about your health when you are a student in France. And we have a very good uh, system. Um, anyway, so that's good advantages. If you speak about the cost of accommodation extra, so as I said, the state uh, gives you some money, around one third of your rent to, uh, to pay your rent. So uh, if you pay uh, 300 euros, the state will give you back 100 euros. So at the end, you will yeah. pay 200 euros. So that's something uh, we don't know uh, really uh, outside France. But that's uh, the reality there. And um, accommodation can be expensive in Paris, for example. Even in uh, some other towns like Bordeaux, mm -hmm. Lyon, yeah. can be expensive. Like big towns. Yeah, it can be expensive. But for example, Bordeaux, you can, yes, exactly. you, can, uh, you can pay like 200 BD per month, 300 BD per month. It's expensive according to a French point of view. But it's fine compared to London uh, if you have uh, at LSE and you have to pay uh, uh, 12,000 pounds in tuition fees plus the accommodation, it's crazy. So yeah. uh, the cost is cheaper than any other country in France, for sure. So we have que so more Max, questions. So Max, there is a bug who's asking what is the uh, most difficult thing that you are facing studying in France that you are facing? Okay, as I said, um, the pro like the difficult things is first of all, uh, if you will go alone studying alone, this is gonna be the first obstacle that like you are used to live with a family and then like out of a sudden you find yourself alone in an apartment. So this is this is a kind of kind of like a hard situation, but like in general, like as Max said, uh, in the, uh, for cultural events like such as theater, movies, and even gems, sports events, gems and so on, you have all like a uh, discount because you are a student, so uh, you will not face a problem. I faced a problem uh, in speaking French at the beginning. It was really hard to communicate with people. <laughs> I used to like use my hands in explaining things and like uh, in acting actually. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and as, as I said, because I went there uh, at first when I was 17, so uh, like, opening a bank account and like getting a phone number and like a Wi-Fi for the house was just like a problem in the beginning. And then when I turned 18, alhamdulillah, everything was going in the right path. Uh, so Betul um, is um, asking, how much of a yeah. budget does a person need when studying in France? Actually, oh. I would say per month, uh, 1,200 uh, euros, which is 600 BD. It's enough for like, yeah. for the residents. It's a lot. It's a lot. Ah, uh, no, it could, it could. See, but it's not even for. It's not even for like. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, so, it's not even for having fun. For me. Okay. For me. So I think. So, Batul, I will, I will answer from a French perspective, <laughs> and I've been a student <laughs> like during six uh, years. Uh, so, me, I had uh, not a lot of money, so I couldn't afford uh, a lot, uh, but I could. Uh, I, uh, I used to work beside my studies. That's a possibility which is uh, also granted to you. So if you have not a lot of money, you can also work up to 25 uh, five hours per week uh, at, the, at the university or in any job. You can uh, take care of children, uh, teach Arabic, for example. It's very easy and you, uh, you, you can uh, get some salary with that. Uh, but if you are in a small town, um, so you have 1,200 BD uh, of tuition, and then besides that, I would say you need three. Uh, okay, let's say for Fatima, I would say 400 uh, BD per month to get to pay your rent, to pay the food, and to pay uh, you know uh, current uh, current uh, expenses. But transportation or like if yeah. you plan to uh, to buy your um, your uh, perfume uh, Dior or your bag, I'm not responsible. It's over my. It, it was not inside my uh, student budget. C'est pas ça. C'est pas ça. Écoute, c'est pas ça. Pour uh, le transport, pour uh, à manger, yeah, yeah. à faire shopping, uh, des choses très essentielles. Yeah, uh, pour ça, 
Personnellement, je trouve euh, Neil de... oh, Sorry. Personally, uh, I, I, will, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't define. I wouldn't define uh, shopping as essential. <laughs> But oh. You're, you're you gonna wear clothes? You gonna you yeah, gonna yeah, buy of course, clothes? Of course. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I prefer. You gonna buy eating. like creams from a pharmacy? Is that Listen the me, essential? Fatima, I I prefer eating than shopping. <laughs> on my opinion, it's more important. But anyway, no, you prefer cooking on going to a restaurant, <laughs> n'est-ce so, pas? Yeah, but uh, yeah. By the way, uh, when you cook yourself, you you uh, save some money, a lot of money. So and uh, since you are in France, you have to, uh, to try to cook. And we have uh, also for those who are more adventurous, I would say, you can save some money also uh, with uh, like in sharing your apartment. For example, you rent a big apartment, you go with, okay, let's say, you know, but people... <laughs> yeah, but uh, even, for, even for the girls, if you have some friends uh, going to yeah. study in France as well, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. some female friends, you can choose to be exactly. free in the same apartment with a big apartment, bigger apartment, nicer apartment as well, and uh, it's uh, less expensive. You save a lot of money yes. when you do that. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Yes. So, oh, Habibti Khalti. So I guess it was uh, for you. Yeah. C'était un très uh, bon, mm -hmm. yani, mm -hmm. bel uh, commentaire. Parfait. Uh, so I think if you don't have any uh, more questions, I will. Uh, je, je pense finish, que c'est tout. Uh, This life will end this life. Yeah. So thanks, Max, for giving me the opportunity to be with you today in episode six. I'm so happy and I'm looking forward to have like more uh, collaboration with the French Embassy, as you know, for any event. And uh, uh, like Hassan is, uh, is asking, how can we say 444 en français? Alors c'est 444. Oh, on the, oh, Bahrain, cat, cat, cat. He is gonna laugh on this because when I did the, you know, the, <laughs> the French uh, promotion about like um, the awareness campaign and, and languages, yes. he, yeah, everyone laughed about me when I said cat, cat, cat. In the French, in, the, in France, you will say 444. Yes. Mais in Bahrain, we're gonna say cat, cat, cat. <laughs> is that so voilà. funny? Voilà, that's a beautiful <laughs> conclusion. Thank you, Fatima. Uh, so, thank you all. If you have more specific questions of, uh, because our topic was uh, through your example, your experience, Fatima, it was also to, to show that uh, you have many studies we, uh, which can lead you to uh, uh, communication uh, field and media, uh, media uh, environment uh, to work in. Uh, so I will just uh, add that, that studying abroad increase, increase your confidence and independence and ability to uh, challenge yourself also uh, in your personal life and professional life. It will give you a different method which will enable you uh, to increase your abilities and uh, competencies uh, and it will benefit you in your future career, but also on your personal perspective. I, I think it will give you a wider um, uh, point of view, I would say, on, on the world. And um, if you have any questions about studies in France, please let me know on Instagram, by mail, or uh, by phone. By phone, I'm not uh, at the office every day, so it's harder, but by Instagram for sure, I will reply to you. and. Um, Thank you. At the end of this uh, episode six, you will be able to watch it uh, in replay on our Instagram account, YouTube account, and Facebook uh, uh, account as well. Uh, please keep tuned. Keep uh, let be safe. Also, you and your family. Uh, and um, we will uh, see you next week for the next episode. Merci beaucoup, Fatima. À Merci, très bientôt. Max. À bientôt. Bonne chance.